we are beginning with the Biden administration moving one step closer to finalizing a new rule that would close what gun control advocates call the gun show loophole. KGUN 9's Kenny Dar spoke with those on both sides of the issue on how this might affect gun sales here in Arizona. And what the Justice Department calls a historic step in the fight against gun violence, Attorney General Merrick Garland announcing Thursday a new rule that would better define what it means to be a firearms dealer. If you sell guns predominantly to earn a profit, you must be licensed and you must conduct background checks. The new rule also aims to close what gun control advocates call the gun show loophole that allow people to sell firearms in non-formal settings without a background check. An estimate from the Department of Justice says it could affect gun sales made by more than 80,000 people, though some Second Amendment advocates don't agree. It's not going to make a hell of a lot of difference in either way. Charles Heller is a co-founder of the Arizona Citizens Defense League, a nonprofit focused on maintaining the rights of Arizona citizens, including their right to bear arms. The 29-year firearms instructor believes the new rule isn't the right move if the government is indeed focused on reducing gun violence. Because people can simply meet in the gun show if they want to, and then go somewhere else and do the transaction. However, those on the other side of the issue are praising the latest move. And it is a game changer. Nick Saplina is the senior vice president for law and policy at Every Town for Gun Safety, a nonprofit focused on gun violence prevention with grassroots organizations across the country, including here in Tucson. He believes this new rule could impact gun sales in states like Arizona, where Second Amendment laws are some of the least restrictive. Um, I believe that many of those guns are individuals selling firearms without a background check, so no records no uh, uh, of those sales. And I think this rule should curb that behavior significantly. Arizona is one of 30 states requiring background checks for only licensed dealers. The new rule announced Thursday is expected to go into effect in 30 days. Reporting in Tucson, Kenny Dar, KGA 9.